Hey friends, welcome on back to the Dave Yourself channel. My name is Dave, and as you see, I still have the red apron on because we're going to be working on this project today, finally. And this project itself is one I've talked about before, and this is the E-Flight F-15 64mm EDF jet launch from an Arma Felony 6S RC car while it races down a runway, and then I want this plane to also land on this car as it's racing down the runway. So let's get into actually developing these materials into something that's usable. So stick around. The magnet system and maybe I put a little Velcro or something on the bottom. Maybe that's where some of that Velcro will come in to hold this thing onto the car. And then from there, I think maybe that might be a good idea. And then that way we just pull it off afterward and race the car, race, you know, but that might be cool. So that might be kind of the function that we'll look for is do something that's a solid actual object that we can just drop right onto the car and pull this off. So. kind of a good idea as to what I was kind of thinking of some sort of something that we can just drop right on the car adhere it in a few places uh, do the trick and then when it's all said and done take it off and then be good to go so all right friends so we got this plane all prepped up and ready to roll I've got all the control services our control rods and such all removed I got the servo arms that need to be taped taped up I have the plastic bags inserted in all the appropriate holes, including the cockpit up here, as well as some additional tape up here on the cockpit to help keep that down in there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and prime it gray, and I'm gonna save you the spirit of that. So uh, here it is in gray. And so there we go, now it's all gray. primed and uh, painted black. So uh, I'm gonna spare you that, of course. So uh, here it is in black. And now it's black, there you go. <laughs> hey friends, welcome back to the Dave Yourself channel. My name is Dave and this is my channel. See, I still have the red apron on, which means we are still working on the project at hand, which is to launch an EDF jet from an RC car as it races down the runway. Uh, as you've seen in the other two videos that I produced so far with regards to this project, uh, this is going to be part or volume three of this particular series. And in this particular volume, we're going to go ahead and work on painting the yellow parts yellow. We're going to go ahead and work on breaking down the cockpit and getting this thing painted, as well as putting the decal and all that, getting this thing camera ready. And then we're also going to cut out the decals that I have that are going to go on the plane as well and get this into a finished state in this video and ready to roll. So if you've been interested in this video series and you want to continue to stick around and see exactly how this goes, well, that's exactly what I recommend that you do. You uh, stick around. All right, friends, welcome back. Appreciate that. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and start with the yellow. We're going to go ahead and get this uh, plane prepped up and ready to get painted yellow where it needs to be. And then while that's drying, we will work on the cockpit. So to do the yellow portion, of course, I have the uh, yellow frog tape. Uh, also have, I'm going to use just regular paper towels to help uh, with the uh, covering and the masking and stuff, just because these are cheap and super effective, and I have a ton of them. And then also, since I've already done the paint here and I don't want to tear it up or even worry about it, uh, to help emphasize the tape to not stick, the whole stick it on your shirt thing, I actually have an extra fuzzy thing, which is a new towel. So I'm going to be using the tape on that to make sure that that uh, are on this to make sure that when I'm putting it down, it's not going to pull up any of the paint. It shouldn't anyway, but this is just one little extra step above just the shirt. This something a little bit fuzzier should work pretty well. Uh, what I was also thinking about doing is, is that I, since I do like the way that this gray looks, I think the way I'm going to do is I'm actually going to mask it up so that uh, I'm covering some of this gray as well. Maybe leave a, a centimeter wide strip and then have it come into the yellow. So I'm gonna do that on all of these sections as well. So when I'm masking that up, I'll make sure to keep keep aware of that. And that way there'll be a nice little line. I'm not gonna worry about so much on that here on the front, 
but I think here that might be kind of neat. Maybe I'll do it back here on the back. We'll see. Uh, but we'll get into the tape of that up here in a minute. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start doing this taping process. So I won't, it's going to be a long, tedious process. Obviously, I will speed forward through that. So uh, we'll go ahead and start with that. All right, now. All right, friends, so there we go. I think we've got this thing uh, masked up and ready to go. As you can see, I'm going to go ahead and finish that uh, yellow triangle here in the back uh, by just go ahead and masking that off appropriately. You can see where the gray stops here, but now that I'll mask that off appropriately, I'll get that perfect point off the yellow here, and then we'll go ahead and do this. Now, what I do need to do is do the underside as well, since I'm going to be doing part of this, but uh, what I'll do is I'll do that in fast motion as well, so you don't have to necessarily wait through that but on the front side i think we're doing pretty good here and i've taped down some of the additional areas i'm maybe worried about uh when i'm uh spraying out the paint you know uh, with the propellant or whatever but i think we should be good here and i did uh mask over the gray just a little bit on each one of these to hopefully uh keep that a uh, little bit of a gray pinstripe line there so <clears throat> from here we'll basically do the same process so here we go All right, friends, and now we've got the bottom as well all taped up and got that perfect point at the bottom as well. So we should be good to go. So you know what the next step is now. All right, friends, uh, now it's time to go ahead and uh, paint these portions yellow. So, uh, of course, to spare you from that, here it is in yellow. And there it is in yellow. Holy smokes, does this thing look so weak. Oh, my gosh, this thing is coming out so nice. Uh, let's take a look at that uh, top point I got there with the yellow. Perfect. Uh, one on the bottom. Close enough. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, this thing is coming along so weak. So I've still got the decals in the cockpit that we're going to do in this video. As far as my decal idea, I got three of these from the Dollar General. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out the stars, put them on the uh, uh, stabilizers up here, put the U.S. Army down here on the front inlet. And then from there, we're going to go ahead and also work on the cockpit itself. I'm going to go ahead and remove the glass. I'm going to go ahead and tape up the glass because I want this whole piece to be yellow, including the framing on the window. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and make way for a camera and also put the decal on the front of the dash as well to so make that cockpit a little bit more, uh, you know, worth looking at from the camera's perspective. So we're going to get that on in this video as well. So, so far, this thing is coming along pretty sweet. My little uh, thin lines came out okay, too, with the uh, silver trim or the gray trim there. So that's pretty cool. Uh, but, yeah, this thing is coming along so weak. So go ahead and stick around because now we're going to go ahead and work on the cockpit. All right, friends, welcome back. We're going to go ahead and work on the cockpit here. Now, uh, I want to remove the plastic uh, canopy itself from the cockpit portion. Uh, I'm going to start that process now, but I'm actually going to not 
completely remove it until after I have it painted and all. Uh, I want to keep it nice and stiff for this portion, but I'll show you exactly how it is that I do remove these. Uh, in this particular case, this one's pretty easy because uh, the plastic lip actually comes in a little closer there. You can kind of see here. Kind of comes in. So really, I'm just going to work it with my nail a little bit. And then once I get it loose, just got a little corner loose. Then we can use something like a credit card or something of that nature. And then just try to feed it up in there. There we go. Okay. Like I said, I'm not going to pull it completely off, but there we go. So that's how you do that, and that will pop off good here in just a bit when we want to get that completely off. But for now, what we're going to do is start working on taping up this uh, clear portion because I just want to go ahead and get that all taped up because I want these spars and all the framing on the cockpit and canopy to all be yellow. All right, so let's go ahead and get some uh, tape pieces on this uh, clear portions of the canopy. Uh, how I'm going to do this is going to use the straight edges from both sides of the tape. So I'm going to try to maximize the use of tape here. And then I'm going to use those straight edges right along in these areas. And that's totally fine if it does not come all the way to the edge because we will fill all of those gaps when we uh, keep adding the tape. We just want to make sure that these first ones go on nice and smooth. I got a knife here because I got that one a little long, but we will not get rid of this piece because we'll be using this as well. Okay. So there's that. Now let's get a little closer in on that. And then here we got this flat piece here still. So we'll go ahead and drop it on right there. Okay. And we're going to just keep on that process. Here we go. All right, friends, so there we go. You can kind of see how I did that. There's uh, When you start getting into these little corners and stuff, you start to start tearing little tiny pieces. But when you do start tearing those, normally you can turn that little piece around in a fashion that should fit into those little corners and stuff pretty good. So there's the center section there. I'm going to go ahead and finish up with the next two sections. So here we go. All right, friends, there we go. We've got the uh, cockpit canopy glass all taped up there. It looks like it's pretty good all the way around. Uh, holding it up to the light. I don't see a whole heck of a lot of light coming through anywhere. Maybe maybe a little bit down here. I could probably put a little, a little extra piece down here, maybe. Yeah. 
There we go. All right. And you may have noticed that I was working a little extra hard on this front piece here because uh, this front piece, uh, <laughs> it is, uh, it's a tight, tight fit there. Uh, but, you know, tearing up the tape and little pieces and stuff works fine. So that will work good. So we're going to go ahead and get that primed gray. And uh, obviously I'm going to go ahead and spare you from that. So here it is in gray. All right. And now here it is in yellow. And there it is yellow. <laughs> All right, one more time. Here it is without all the tape on it. All right, look at that. That is good looking, boy. I did a pretty good job with that tape, let me tell you. That looks nice. Let's take a look and see how that looks on the jet. Oh, my goodness, does that look good. <laughs> oh, that looks so sweet. All right, you know what's next. It's time to work on these decals. All right, friends, welcome on back. Let's go ahead and get onto these decals now. What I've got here is uh, basically just, uh, you know, cut away, break off, cheap knife kind of thing. And I also have some of my uh, scissors that I use for Lexan car bodies. And these are the curved ones. And I'm really going to help use those when we get around these curved portions on this lower banner here. But everything else is pretty well straightforward. I'm not going to worry about breaking out a rule or anything. I'm just going to go ahead and freehand it. So I'm going to go ahead and cut out two stars, uh, both of these U.S. Army banners, and uh, get that done here. And, of course, I'm going to speed through it so you don't have to watch the entire thing in slow motion. So here we go. All right, friends, so there you go. I went ahead and cut these out. <clears throat> Basically, the exact same process as what I did with the decals that are on the arm of felony. So we've got these that will go on the tail. We've got these that will go on the uh, intakes. So let's go ahead and grab that lane, and let's go ahead and get these decals on. All right, friends, let's go ahead and get these decals on. Now, after, since I cut them off, let me let you know that these things can be boogers sometimes to get off. So uh, just in case, I'm going to go ahead and fast more motion on this. I'm going to put the ones on the tail and then the ones on the uh, intake. So here we go. All right, look at that. That looks legit. No doubt. Let's get a little close up on that. You can see how that looks. That looks good. That looks good. Oh yeah, oh yeah. All right, so let's go ahead and do uh, this side. All right, friends, look at that. This thing is beautiful. <laughs> I am really going to like this plane if I do say so myself. I may be a little biased, but yeah, this, this thing is looking pretty great. Decals on both sides seem to be pretty well spot on. This thing is going to look so good sitting on top of that arm of felony with the cradle on it. That particular video is going to be coming up soon where I'm going to do the final touches on the cradle itself as well as the final adhesions of the car and how I'm going to get that done. Put this thing on there, test fit it. Uh, also, uh, going to try to do some testing where we at least try to get this thing to take off from the car and then we'll save the takeoff and landing for the final video. But for now, I think we're good with this video because this thing is so sweet. It is a oh, piece that already exists. Folks, I've already taken out the bags and stuff. I have not put on the control horns, uh, rods or anything like that just yet, but I do have all the bags taken out. So I wouldn't forget, obviously. Uh, but, uh, nonetheless, this thing is coming along great. So I appreciate you guys sticking around. Thank you so much for all of your support. Thank you so much for all of your great comments and your likes and the views and all of that. 
and uh, stick around for the next video that'll be coming up because I'm pretty excited about that too. I'm really excited about this project, but boy, this thing sure did come out nice. So until next time, I am Dave. This is the E-Flight F-15 64 millimeter EDF jet that I'm going to be launching off of a 6S arm of felony as it races down the runway and hopefully get this thing to also land on the car as it races down the runway. And if so, that would be ah, so nice. So until next time, I am out of here.